Welcome back. It's time for us to play some more games on Shogi Wars, and then maybe we'll go back to grinding puzzles on Play Shogi in a bit. Uh, but let's start by playing, because, you know, I've had maybe about eight games this week, and I've lost almost all of them. So let's see if we can win some games today. Uh, welcome Shogi Explained and Crew of 20. Hopefully we'll enjoy this adventure together. Good luck. I'll try not to blast out your eardrums. Um, let me check on one setting here. Sorry about things. I'd set this up in a bit of a hurry. Uh, yeah, so this morning when I had been watching Shogi Sunday, I boosted my volume on my computer. I have now unboosted it, so that should correct the echo that was present at the head of this live stream. Uh, this thing always puzzles me. And Giko always tells me, just push the Rook Pawn. And, I, you know, I don't want to push the Rook Pawn. I'd rather play this way. This looks more fun. Um, so, yeah, let's play this way. So our opponent is going to fight us in the center. And, okay, see... Hmm... I didn't think that would happen. That creates another weakness. Um, so let's transpose back into something like this. I was all set to play third file rook, and then our opponent, you know, had to go ahead and play the pawn in the night out. And that changes my mind, because I'm paying attention. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, this looks interesting. I don't really fully get what's going on. But I don't need to know everything in order to be able to play this game. I just have to be able to figure things out better than my opponent. So let's get the king out of the center. And see what follows. Okay, this is interesting play on their part. Um, yeah, I'm just going to continue playing a reasonable castle. There we go. And maybe attack, but I'd rather produce a castle first, so this way I don't lose all of my pieces. Um, hmm. Well, now I'm confused. Well, I guess there's no harm in building Mino Castle. Um, yeah, they're building a castle that's split. I'm not confident that what they've done is necessarily a good idea. So I'm going to make some room for my silver in the center of the board. Further, this allows me to bring my rook out uh, through this file. So this is an interesting situation. Now, what happens if I exchange too much? I don't profit from forcing exchanges here. So maybe I play patiently. This is fine. One idea here is that if they attack my pawn, no, then, I, then I defend it. But otherwise, um, my rook's not stuck in any particular location. The king is over here. Yeah, I don't know how to combat this. Um, I did just bury my bishop a little bit. So I shouldn't have both of my rook and bishop buried like this. Um, if I try anything too aggressive, then I get hurt. So... Yeah, I think dropping back the bishop protecting this pawn uh, is reasonable, although it seems to lose the tempo. 
This makes their castle more and more exposed. So... Yeah, I don't think what they're doing is necessarily best. I don't want to block my rook just yet. Um, if I do this pawn exchange, they'll drop a pawn. I could bring out my knight next, but hmm, I don't know what to do. So I can gesture all I want. If I push and I exchange here. I hit the knight. The knight threatens to advance further. They could bring up the silver to protect this knight, and I don't have the right pieces to attack further there. Um, they did just block their rook, so I could move my bishop somewhere else. But I don't profit yet from doing such a thing. Okay, let's, let's give my bishop some breathing room. I can push here and exchange, and that's not profitable immediately. But what could be profitable is opening all three files. So let's first open the rook. Our opponent obliges us, and then they kick, and we retreat, and that's fine. Oh. Wow. That's a display of confidence. Um, interesting. Okay, we build another castle without losing a tempo. Uh, sure, that's possible. I'm not sure how advisable that is. This is wild. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. So, unless I'm missing something, uh, this is a way to open a line. At least that, as far as that goes, I am accurate. Um, that does open a line and does give me a pawn in hand. And then we take reclaim this edge and ask where the rook is moving back to. Okay, they do have pawns, that's true. Um, at least right now they do. This is safe, right? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Maybe not? Hmm. How safe is this? It's just my king. Alright. I mean, I've been here, done that before, right? Mm. Okay. Take one of those. Take one of those. Okay, maybe start retreating? Sure. This is safe, right? Completely, totally, and utterly safe. Until proven otherwise. And then when we're proven otherwise, we cry. But, you know, we're not there. Um... Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm confused. All right, let's advance here. Mm -hmm. That's just a rook. Were we using it anyway? Um, all right, let's take it. We might need to run. Otherwise, this rook drop is kind of devastating. All right. Yeah. Um, how do we attack? That's a fork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, this looks kind of fun, right? We'll see how decent my reading is today. One minute to go. Ippun. Oops, this piece. Thanks for the game. Kaboom. <laughs> Oh boy, that that's a good warm up. That was a very good game. It's good for the soul, but uh, that was sharp. Good luck. Oh boy. All right, here we are offering this bishop exchange again. Um. Interesting. This doesn't profit me to do the exchange just yet. So this is sane-ish. Um, I have questions. No, I don't profit from trying to win the game on the spot here. Let's calm down a second. Hmm. Interesting. What in the world is going on? Okay, let's get our king out of dodge. It's fine. Um. Hmm. I think this is all still relatively sane. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm too curious. Down the rabbit hole we go. The silver is loose. I'm using that to justify wanton aggression. Oh, okay, now I can block the rook file. Um, I don't know that I want to. Um, this position's too fun. Hmm. 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 
Yeah, we pull, we subscribe to this game to play some fun here. And we are going to have fun. Somehow. All right. Um... Hmm. This looks fun. But yeah, thanks, uh, Shogi explained. Um, uh, for hosting us. So, uh, of course, they were most recently playing Shogi. Uh, they were uh, spectating as the World Shogi League game, Division A, USA Team Number 2, was playing their match. Uh, although most of those games had already completed. But it's still uh, exciting to see what's being played out there in the world. Um, Okay. Interesting. In fact, that the game that was played there is not too dissimilar to this one. I mean, they're both shogi, sure. Okay, my king is extremely vulnerable. I should think twice before doing anything stupid here. Um... Hmm. Yeah, like, my king is much too vulnerable for me to do anything crazy. So I could just try to calm down with a move like this. Mm -hmm. And they slow my attack as well. Um, hmm. Interesting. So my attempts to attack down the center are failing. But I could attack elsewhere. It's not that great. Oh boy. Um, if I defend my king... Like, my attack collapses. Alright, we're gonna move the rook. I think I have time for this, it's not clear. Yep, they do the predictable defense. I'll do a predictable offense here. And expect that their rook is going to dodge my bishop, but I might get to promote my rook in exchange for giving a knight. Uh, so yeah. You remember earlier I mentioned I was really excited about activating my knight here. Um, this is the cost of activating it. It's that I don't have a knight anymore. But uh, what I do have is an attack on their knight and an attack on their rook. which hopefully results in me getting something out of this um, other than just being exposed to a knight fork that wins a gold general in my camp. I've been considering building a more solid castle, but just have not had the time while, they, while they're trying to stop me and completely prevent my attack. I need to use my window of opportunity to 
do something before it's too late. Now they're going to try to push this pawn and break in on this file. And I anticipate that, and I'm going to promote my rook before they promote their rook. That's the plan. Uh, wait. We just had a game like that recently. Go for it. We both promoted, and it sucked for me. Let me not repeat my mistake. Um, let's get our rook out of this first. Then when they promote their pawn, I can drop a pawn here. And it's okay. Of course, they have this instead. And we have all these in-between moves, but... Um, I think at the end of this, I end up promoting a piece and they don't. Unless I've missed things, and I probably have. So... Let's see how much I've missed. I protect my bishop's head. I attack their rook. If the rook drops all the way back, I can eventually use a pawn to block it. After they take my pawn, I'd be allowed to drop another one. Um, if the rook dodges sideways, yeah, that's more complicated. I can take this pawn they can promote here, so we don't do that. Um, hmm. But they've blocked their rook. Alright, so... It's a weird position. They end up winning a knight again, and uh, we somehow manage to make do with this outcome. Um, Okay, if the gold takes, I can promote my rook and check them and then take the gold next. Now I threaten to take a lance. Also, I could promote my bishop. Um, so it takes some patience to play this game. But a lance could be useful to collect a silver. Their rook hasn't promoted yet. This is my main point. Um... Okay, let's promote the bishop. The promoted bishop defends my king. Yes, they can drop a knight here and win one of my generals, and I'll just be okay with that. Because um, I can win pieces too. Let's take a piece. I guess that was a mouse slip or an input entry error, or they probably intended to go to a different square. Um, okay. Let's attack directly, so the threat is dragon takes gold. I don't know if it wins or not, but it's menacing. Um, hmm...
I don't think it's good enough by itself. Nifun. Okay, I activate my piece. I don't know what to do. I have ideas. I don't see a mate, though. Ippun. I think this is best. I'm not completely certain. Nicely played. Well done. I erred. That's my fault. Um, okay, so this shows how, like, how surprising some outcomes can be, right? Let's play one more. It also shows how important it is to practice your checkmates. Good luck. I forgot to thank the last opponent for the game, so thanks to my last opponent for that last game. Hopefully that motivates me to practice more. Okay, this is an interesting decision. Um... This looks interesting. I don't know what uh, possessed me to do this. Possibly I'm on tilt for my last game. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do. Initially, I thought I had some great tactic here, but um, not so much. Let's 
So instead, let's try to build a castle. Um, interesting. I'm not sure what I'm doing, in case that's not obvious. Though I think it would be obvious, no? Um, but yeah, this is a freestyle castle. So it's a bit challenging to defend. Um, I don't want my pieces... oh, okay. My opponent is making decisions for me. I think this is fine, though. Well, it's not so clear. I have a loose piece. Hmm. This is about to get complicated. So we didn't get to play Central File Rook officially this game. Um, but this knight is hanging, and if they proceed on tactics that are available here, um, we might see some interesting developments. So sure, yeah, they get to promote their bishop, sure. I'll allow it. I don't have a choice, but I can get an active piece, and this is not so easy for them to hold on to. Um, this knight is loose, so their rook has to dodge, and I mean it's a difficult position for both of us. Probably more difficult for me, but it's a challenge I'll take on because, you know, we play interesting moves here. Um, Mm -hmm. Ah, they do defend their knight. Okay, since their bishop is way over here, uh, we'll try to make use of our rook and knight, or the rook and knight are located. Yeah, I saw that. And I'm just going to pretend it's fine. We might need an act of imagination on this one, but... Um, yeah, if we say things will be fine, they'll be fine, right? If I bring the rook over, they drop another pawn. And... I don't know. I don't know if I want to encourage that pawn drop. I probably don't. 
I definitely don't. They're going to play the Pawn Drop regardless, because my Knight... Well, no, they could use the Silver to fight off my Knight. So... Yeah, we got a mess on our hands. I might exchange my Rook for a Bishop if I can. And if they volunteer to do such an exchange. Because activating this Rook looks very difficult right now. They have two Pawns in hand. So they've won a pawn, and yeah, this position's a mess. Um, Oh, did I trap my rook? I came very close to trapping my rook. Uh, if they corner it with the silver, my rook has one square to run to, but one is enough. Um... Okay, silver is under attack. Oh, this is interesting. No, I don't profit from this. I almost do, but no, I don't. Go for me. Mm, I could win a tempo. It's not worth it. Fighting against a horse is difficult. This bishop can go many different directions, but it's presently trapped by its own forces. Yeah. Um. Let's attack this head on. Let's see what they've got planned. Hmm. Just keep winding up our punch here until it's time to strike. Also note that my golds are separated by a space. I am prone to a fork, which is most unpleasant. Um, I've prepped this as best as I can, but it's not good.
Hmm. If the silver advances, I could push this pawn. And all shit hits the fan at once, and everything breaks loose, and who knows where we go next. Because they have horse takes pawn, and like my rook's hanging, but their gold's hanging, the knight's hanging, the their rook's hanging. So I might want to delay this pawn advance by a tempo if I can throw in another move first. But I don't know that I can. What could I possibly throw in to make this more difficult for us to figure out? This is just instinct here. I don't know about this one. So my rationale is I have this fork, and then I can threaten that. But is it worth it? I don't think so. But I can't see anything else I can do. Hmm. Interesting. Nifun Sanjubio. I have a difficult position. Again, speculation on my part, but this is not looking good. Okay, we'll exchange some pieces. It's going to cost me immediately to do this, but... Maybe there's some payoff somehow. Lots of ideas. Uh, my bishop can use this diagonal, my rook can maybe use this line. My everything is hanging. They have drops everywhere. Um. Mm -hmm. That pins my knight.
1分Hmm. Hopefully it's fine. Gold there might have been smarter. Sanjubio. Fuck. Nijubio. Nope. Thanks for the game. That's Shogi Wars for you, right? Um, yeah, no, they played well overall. Uh, toward the end, I suppose we both tested each other's patience because I played a defensive move in a position where a defensive move was not called for. Um, I played a cowardly move, and they punished me for it. So, um, yeah, I think there will be things to be learned from studying these games. Hopefully we enjoyed these, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.